You may be asking why we put a final E on words in English if we don't pronounce it. Well, there is a reason. Before I explain the reason, however, I need to tell you a little something about English vowels. To simplify things greatly, each of our five written vowels in English has two sounds associated with it. We have what's sometimes referred to as a long and a short sound for each written vowel letter. The long sounds are all pronounced just like the name of the vowel letter. For example, a long A is pronounced A, as in made and name. A long E is pronounced E, like these and Pete. A long I is pronounced I, like ice and time. A long O is pronounced O, as in phone and home. And finally, long U is pronounced U, as in use or cute. When you see an E at the end of a word, it tells us to pronounce the vowel with its long sound. So let's compare these similar words. Short vowel, at. Long vowel, ate. The only difference in these two words is the E at the end on eight. And then we have pet and peat. Win, wine, hop, hope, cut, and cute. You can see each of these words is very similar. The only difference in writing is the E at the end of the word. That E tells us to pronounce the vowel with its long vowel sound. And that's why some words have silent E's at the end.